Hey there, welcome to Truth Be Told. How you all doing today? Father God, I just wanna thank you for this opportunity that you've given me today to seek your face for the air in our lungs, Father God. Just thank you for waking us up today, Father. I pray that you speak through me today in the glorious name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hi guys, how you doing today? I wanna to talk to you today uh, about uh, angry Christians. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. Right, because uh, Christians should reflect the love of God, right? But of course, we have this emotion; it plagues us all. But the good news is that we have abilities to to cast down, hold thoughts captive under God's obedience, and we also have something called self control. You know, I know that it's hard to believe that, but we do. It's a gift. It's a it's a gift of the Spirit, one of the fruits of the Spirit. In Galatians, today's verse is going to be Psalms thirty-seven eight. It says, "Refrain from anger and forsake wrath." Fret not yourself, it leads to it only leads to evil. Remember, anger uh, is one letter away from danger. Remember we spoke about this, right? Satan's faith, anger, is a, is the first indication that Satan is around, that the enemy is around, he's trying to bait us. We have emotions of anger, of course we do. Um, but staying angry is futile. Buddha said that staying angry is like drinking poison, expecting the poison to kill the other person. It's just useless. You know, it's a useless emotion. We all have it. But when you sit with anger long enough, I want you to know that it'll tell you its real name. Anger is just an emotion created by something deeper, either grief or pain or frustration. So when you sit with anger long enough, it's gonna tell you its real name, honey. Uh, I want us to understand something also, that sometimes when people are emotionally charged, their ability to communicate, speak, or to hear becomes severely diminished because we allow anger to take over. Man, I want us today to learn that anger cannot, does not control our lives because when we get angry, we do and say horrible things. Um, but I want you to know that we do have self-control. It's a gift. And I pray that you exercise that today in the glorious name of Jesus. I want to tell you a story about how we react to things that are in front of us due to the person that's behind us, right? Or who's got our backs. If we truly believe that God is our Father in heaven and He has our backs, why are we reacting like a fool? Um, when I was in high school, I had a reputation that you know nobody messed with me because I, apparently I could fight. So I have a cousin who was very frail back in the day, very shy, and but she walked around with such confidence because when people tried to mess with her, she would look at them confidently and with peace and say, excuse me, do you have any idea who my cousin is? And she would tell them, it's Lisa Perez. They would back up off her real quick. Now I want you to imagine how much more power, how much more confidence should we walk in in our daily lives when we are faced with things in our lives. We gotta stop a second and just remind ourselves who's got our back. We should be walking like my cousin was, like, excuse me, do you have any idea who my father is? Mm, you better step off, honey. And that's what I'm talking about. I pray today that we start to access the power that is being given to us. Jesus said that he leaves, he, I give to you my perfect peace. Man, you just got to receive it. You need to learn to apply God's peace in your life. And we can only do this with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will guide us and will allow God's love and forgiveness to overflow. So that anger, that angry Christian doesn't rise up in us. I mean, let's start to represent God in the truest, formest way. Because God is loving. He's forgiving. He's kind. How can we represent him being angry all the time? Plus, it's just bad for you, honey. Let's release that anger today in the glorious name of Jesus, okay? I am on release road and forgiveness way. Where are you at? Holla.